Hello ladies and gents, hope everybody's doing well. Right, I'm just coming on to show you a little bit of a project that I'm doing. It looks like nothing at the moment. <laughs> I've made it out of a piece of scrap material, um, out of my hoard. Um, and basically I have just folded, um, folded it in half, a long piece, folded it in half, sewn up the edges, turned it inside out and then I've, I've made this little, the bottom part here, squared off corners, which is quite easy to do, you just, so here we are, I had a piece of, piece of fabric, which would have been, let me measure it for you, it would have started off at about 14 inches long, okay, and eight inches wide and then I folded it in half so this is now seven inches so folded it in half sewn up both the sides and then I have sewn the corners to make it so it's flat bottom bag okay um, and you just do that by lining up this edge with the flat edge like so and then you either sew across or glue across but it's easy to just sew um, and then you have a, a, a flat bottom bag Okay, quite easy. And so and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to make myself um, a, a small piece of cardboard, I think, to go in the bottom of there, just to make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, so what is it again? Let me measure it. Uh, six inch by, I want it to be six inch by about, uh, just short of two. So what's this? And that's not big enough. Uh, let me just take, let me just borrow this board that uh, I've got some seam binding on a board here. I'll borrow this, let's have a look. I got six. Okay, that's about six there. So, let me get a pen. Six inch is about there. Um, so if I cut that. And then I want it about, let's measure it again, about one and, uh, right, one and a half and a bit. <laughs> You'd measure your own bag to um, one and a half to get the measurements because um, I've not measured this in a precise manner. I've just got a piece of scrap material and just... Sort of stuck it together, that's not a flat edge, is it? Don't matter. And I've just sort of just hashed it together so if you start with if you start with a piece that's that's about uh, 14 inches uh by about eight then you can't go far wrong. And it's just gonna be a little a little wee bag. Um just a little handmade, I'm just gonna straighten that up a little bit. Just a little handmade bag. Just to go in a little uh, parcel that I'm sending out, and I may well put some little goodies in. Let me see if that'll fit in there now. I might have completely cut that wrong because I'm not very good at cutting, uh, you know, measuring things and getting it right. Yeah, that more or less fits. If you see, yeah, it's giving me just a bit of sturdiness to the bottom of my bag. So what I'm going to actually do is, I'm actually going to, I think I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there just to hold it, a little bit of hot glue, Keep it, just to keep that still in the bottom of there. Um, if I'd have thought on, I'd have lined it with a little bit of satin. So if you're doing it, <laughs> line your cardboard with a bit of satin. I'll probably end up doing it after. Um, I'll go over the top with a little piece of felt. But yeah, that cardboard will just keep the shape of the bottom of the bag there. Okay. Now, I'm going to... I, I um, Because I'd cut this bit, I did um, zigzag all the way around the edge with my sewing machine. Just so it didn't fray and keep it tidy. Um, I could have hemmed it, but... Um, I didn't. <laughs> now I'm gonna use. I want it all frou frou and fancy and frilly and a bit silly. 
Um, I just need to decide what I'm going to use for handles first, I think. Um, mm, what can I use for handles? Let me have a think. And I'm going to get all my frilly frill frill laces out and have a look. Uh, what looks really pretty. And I don't know if I've got enough. I don't know if I've got enough. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do is, and first of all, I'm going to start with this, which I had gifted from Stacey Donaldson. And I'm just going to start and attach that as my bottom layer. So I'm just going to assess where, if the bag stood up, where that frill goes to. And it goes to about there. About there. So I'm just going to tack this fabric on to get me started. Which way around is it? That way around. Okay. There. Don't want it longer than the bag, really. About there. And then go all the way around and just attach this layer of frill, frilly silliness, <laughs> and see where we end up. Um, I'll just attach this and then I'll come back. Right, so I'm back. I'm going to call this my tutu bag. <laughs> That's so cute. So I've put two layers of this frill round and then I've put this one round. Now I need to think of something for the handles. Um, probably just going to use some satin ribbon. Go and get some. Oh, in fact, no, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use some of this, actually, um, which is really, really cute. Um, which is this beaded one here. Um, so let me... Decide how big I want my handles, about that big. Cut it and then measure it and cut one for the other side so that I can have two the same. And this is just a really, really quick um, project. Um, if you're doing a little rack or you want to send a little gift or you want to make a little birthday present for a little girl, you could make one of these and then stuff it with goodies. That's the idea, right? I'm just going to literally glue this on and then I'll cover it over the top of it with another little frill. Super easy, super quick. Um, if you've got uh, little ones that go to birthday parties or, you know, it's just a little bit of something different, isn't it? Um, there we go, right now I'll do the other side. And because I have cut them to the same length and I'm going to estimate, well, stick them in the same place. You can't really go wrong. Okay. Like so. And now I'm going to find another lace for the top layer. Um, just using off cuts off of my desk at the moment. <laughs> Let's have a look what we've got. Mm, what's this one? I don't know if that one's wide enough. That one's not quite wide enough. Let's have a look. What's this one? That's the wrong way around, Amanda. Uh, that's not quite wide enough neither. I might do another layer of that and then put something over the top because I have got some more of this. Shall I have another layer and go totally, totally bonkers with the frills? Uh, why not? It's a two-two bag, why not? <laughs> so I'm going to just literally glue another row of this um, quite inexpensive lace on. Um, don't think it matters which way around this one goes. So there we go, we're going to stick it onto here. Try and have it on the top row, as it were. And um, the trick is to get your first lace straight, ish, <laughs> and then the rest should, you know, when you're doing layers, you can just go on top with your next one, and it'll. And as long as you take time to get your first one straight, you'll be fine. Um, keep your hand underneath the bag, you know, on the inside of the bag whilst you're gluing, so that you don't glue the bag shut. <laughs> 
Because that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? So yeah, um, you just very, very quickly make these out of just a little bit of fabric. Probably everybody's got some lying about. Uh, you know, you can take a lot more time. You could line it with satin or you could line it with felt if you so desired. I'm just doing this really quick, obviously for, for you ladies to have a look. Um, and uh, it will be getting used for a little girl. And I'm going to stuff it with like probably hair accessories and a little, you know little uh, notebook, whatever, some little sweeties and um, it's just an alternative to a boring paper bag isn't it? it's just something a little bit different and a little bit more special um, if you've got little girls in your life if you're lucky enough to be blessed with little little angels mm -hmm. yeah we have got five five of them and they're awesome, little girls are awesome um, ours are anyway, they're all really good. Lost at term. <laughs> when they're not being bad. Right, I'm just going to cut that off. I'm not going to go over mad with embellishments because I might make another one of these actually. I've got a swap coming up and um, I might make a one <laughs> and put it in. Um, so there we are so far. Uh, I think I might just put something. Oh, that's really super cute. Uh, something around the top. I want something around the top. Just to finish it off. Will that reach? I don't know if that'll go all the way around. Oh yeah, this little this little remnant here will fit. Let me find where the back is. There's the back. So I'm just going to run round the top here with this just remnant of lace that I've just found randomly on my desk. Um, am I even in shot? Oh, I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit. There we go. So again, holding the uh, bag on the inside. Where's the seam? There's the seam. I'm just going to run this um, thinner trim around the top just to finish it off. I'm right size. There we go, just neatens up that edge a bit and also um, by putting the handles on first before you attach these top trims it helps keep your handle on and um, helps it be a bit, little bit more stable um, and what I might do actually is I might come back and I might do a little headband uh, video if I've got some, have I got some stretcher? I don't know if I've got any elasticated trims yeah I might come and do a little um, a little, oh, I've got some threads there from where I sewed it with my sewing machine. I might come back and do a little headband tutorial um, to um, put it inside the little bag as a little gift to go with it, like a little gift set. Don't know yet. And maybe a hair bow. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I have made hair bows in ages. I used to make all of Alexia's when she was little, but now she's older. She don't want them, um, you know, she just wants a baseball hat on. And uh, you look her if she will have a just a normal hair elastic in she's uh, not very girly at the moment she's quite she calls it functional she says I'm not a tomboy I'm just functional don't know where she gets the vocabulary from she watches too much YouTube <laughs> oh dear. so yeah this little trim is just finishing this edge off nicely um, Nearly done. Oh, this glow stick. Come on. There we go. And it's, you know, because I've put the layers of lace on it, it's fair firmed up the um, bag. You know, because it's quite floppy fabric that I used, which is why I put the board in the bottom to stiffen it. But now I've added the fabric, it's given it some structure, and it's a cute little bag, is that? So yeah, I might take that board out and I may well just cover it with some satin or felt. So there's my little tutu bag. Mm. Can you see? <laughs> I think that's really cute. I like that. I want to keep it. Um, 
I'm just wondering whether to put a little something like a little flower to the side. Um, let me think. That would mean making one, wouldn't it? Leave it with me, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back. I've decided that to make a big uh, handmade flower would be a bit much if it's for a little girl. So I've made this little white satin bow here. Um, just a little one. And I'm just going to add the ribbon rose over the top. Um, because, you know, the, the, the general idea of why I was making it was for, for just a quick little project. Um, so I don't want to be extending the time of it. So I'm just going to add this little satin bow to roughly the middle, which is roughly, let me see, uh, about there, if I eyeball it, about there. And then just for a pop of colour, I'm going to add this pink ribbon rose. And it's got a little beaded tail as well. Um, just pop that in the centre of that. That bow there. And we're done with the little tutu bag. I'm really quite pleased with how that's turned out. Just need to get rid of all the glue strands. And uh, yeah, like that. I used to make tutus and I used to sell quite a lot of them, but I got to the stage where I was sick of doing them. <laughs> um, so there we go. There's my little tutu bag. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to make some little hair accessories to go inside that now. So I might well be back with those in a little while. Bye for now.